This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what was... I don't know what came over me. You're taken by the the spirit of the season. No. Oh. Mm. oh, it's horror month. Sure is. Oh horror my god. Month. Welcome to horror, horror month. I'm so excited. Oh horror yeah. Month. Yeah, my first this horror month. Our first mm -hmm. horror month with Julia. Yay. Hello everybody. Hello. Welcome back to Phantasmagoria. It has been 11 months, 48 weeks give or take um since we last played phantasmagoria and i'm pleased to announce that i don't remember what we were doing that's okay so this is going to be interesting there was i the... do remember vaguely the last thing that happened yeah there was that weird like uh you know sexual Flashback. assault scene that we skipped which was that well, was, there was good that from from a few episodes back. yeah it was a yeah, few we episodes just watched a woman get murdered in a greenhouse and now we that watched is... them yeah yeah I, I remember that. Hey, look, it's all coming back now. <laughs> yeah. It, it doesn't go. matter. Because it does. It, it, oh, because right. Nothing ever does. Nothing ever does. Mm -hmm. Nothing matters. Yeah. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, everybody, before we start, I just want to say look, if you're watching this, uh, you know, just in, in horror month order, you know, sorry, but I'm going to address <laughs> something that happened last week. And it, I had COVID. I had COVID nineteen. Yep. Yeah, am I allowed to say that on YouTube anymore? Yeah. COVID nineteen. That's some. <laughs> you get yourself shadow banned. Am I gonna get shadow banned? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I had uh, it. Yeah, we'd it. still probably get more reach than when we were marking ourselves as adults only. So yeah, that's true. And and Alex had it the week uh, before. We didn't even see each other. I didn't even get it from you. Yeah, or not unless like. We were both sick somehow the last time we saw each other, and then it incubated forever. That's possible, but I'm not. No, I went to a wedding. I definitely got it at a wedding. Mm. <laughs> I definitely got it there. Like half the people who went got it. So, you know, hey, hey, you never know, though. You know, the the Lord works in mysterious <laughs> ways. The Lord. Gotta keep the, your options. The though. Lord of COVID. The Lord of COVID. <laughs> So Beelzebub, Beelzebub, or Nurgle, perhaps the Lord of COVID. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling good. Hey, no yeah, onions and bags yeah. needed this time around. No, you know I had a cough for a day. Mm. And I, I'm gonna tell you something though. I did consume a lot of garlic. A mm. lot of garlic. More yeah. than usual. Yeah, More than usual. Mm. More than usual. Just raw? What did you cook it in? stuff i look i took it in pill form i okay. I, I put it in i put it in uh salsa i i oh I, I just i put it in anything soup i had i had a i had a whole like uh uh bone broth that was just filled with grated garlic it's mm. freaking awesome i'll tell you it did the trick i feel much better you know that sounds pretty good it's pretty great pretty great anyway i'm fine now I uh, I followed I up my tired. Uh, I I followed up my bout with COVID by moving to a new apartment where I am now on a just terrible nice. internet connection. Nice. Um, so I've got a like pretty significant yeah. delay from everyone else. So if my dialogue is disjointed, that's why. <laughs> yeah. Well, you probably won't notice it because Alex will have synced with everyone else, and so. Our responsive to Alex might be a little bit uh, delayed, but Alex is probably going to sound pretty much on point. Yeah, and we if we end up talking over him, that's why. Yeah. We're not doing yeah. it on purpose. Or vice versa. Like I, week, I can't Alex is tell when someone's talking. Just like there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll get, It'll be fine. you get It'll your be internet. Fine. Yeah, it's funny because like, Alex came to me like, uh, like a couple weeks ago and was like, who do you recommend for internet? And I, I said, and anyway, that ended up being a really bad idea. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad. 
I'm sorry. It's not. It hasn't been the worst experience of my life, but it's top five easily. Oh yeah, yeah. Or bottom five, whatever, however you want to call it. <laughs> whatever, yeah, whatever the worst is. Yeah, top five most worst. Yes. Uh, all right. Well, I'm again. I'm sorry. We'll get it all figured out. But we're back. We're here. Yeah, sadly, be, due to uh, illnesses and uh, the necessity of uh, Alex moving to a new place, uh, I'm afraid that Krell Timber was a fairly short um, celebration this year. But don't worry, there will be more next year. We'll make um, up for it. We'll make up for it. Yeah. Luke will make his uh, record breaking run of the, uh, the games there <laughs> next time. <laughs> I'll spend the whole year practicing <laughs> yes. so I can get the world record and. In- in the crawl arcade game, which will be invalid because I will be doing it on MAME. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, still. Whatever. The spiritual victory. Mm-hmm. Spiritual victory, yeah. We did, in yeah. fairness, consume almost all of the crawl media that exists. Not quite all. We have a couple for, you know, uh, crawl timber yeah, we, with a bunch we, of twos we, in its yeah. name. We have the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have the, the DVD making of. Yeah. Um, and, the 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 book. Making of D&D. and the crawling book. And the crawling book. There's the crawl uh, novelization. Um, there's plenty of crawl to go around. Still. I've got I've got some art planned too. Oh. There you go. For next year, uh, if you want to see, uh, I'm I'm dressing myself up as Colwyn in a in a piece of <laughs> art. Awesome. Uh, you guys, you guys call who you want to be. I already know. So, you know, you tell me who you want to be. I want to be the spider lady. Well, done. (laughs) Done. Spider queen. Nice. Done. I have to be real because I'm the tallest. That's already done. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) And I made Luke the old man. I was going to say, yeah, in in ear has to be. You're in ear. Yeah. 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 Perfect. God, it's like. We didn't even have to actually call it. Matt just kind of knew what it was going to be already. Just kind of knew. Anyway. Anyway. It was either either in ear or like uh, Liam Neeson, but I'm not that pretty. So. Oh, (laughs) Liam Neeson. God. Nobody is. It would be hard to illustrate one of us as Liam Neeson. (laughs) <laughs> and have it yes. look like both us and Liam Neeson because it really is just just like the head. His costume's not that distinctive. Yeah, tell me what he no. was wearing. Go ahead. You can't Green. do it. Yeah. What? You can't do it though. What? What Green was he wearing? T-shirt. What? <laughs> Green t-shirt. <laughs> or you could just put me in Robbie Coltrane's really <laughs> shitty phoned-in costume. His overalls. Yeah. 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 With red t-shirt. Well, anyway, hey, well, look, Krell Timber's a thing of the past. Yeah, that's we're, true. We're now in Horror Month. Welcome to Horror Month, everybody. For anyone yeah, watching only Horror Month, they don't know anything about Krell Timber at all. Nope. That's <laughs> I, that's why I apologized right up at front. But if you're I, here for Phantasmagoria and Phantasmagoria <clears throat> alone. Yeah. Yeah. Skip to this. Skip to this point right here because we're about to start. There's been something of a phantasmagoria resurgence recently. Um, it seems like uh, Victoria Morcel, um, uh, name of character, um, has been doing uh, a little bit of internet stuff, like playing the game and doing hmm. interviews about phantasmagoria and stuff like that recently. So, um, yeah, it's it's really cool to see. I haven't actually watched enough of it to be able to like. Um, regurgitate any facts on the on the stream here. I, I I came woefully unprepared, but maybe by next week I'll have watched through it and uh, I can summarize some interesting facts. Wow! Yeah. All right. Uh, but at least in in doing so, I I remembered that her name, the name of the actress, is Victoria Marcel. Mm. Yes, as an an Adrian Delaney. Adrian Adrian Delaney. Yeah, Don't I was forget about Delaney, it. but I was like Delaney is. I thought that was her first name. I was like that doesn't seem right. No. So, uh, well, don't for well, yeah. It was a. It, it, I just looked it up. A conversations with Curtis mm-hmm. played a. Well, yeah, uh, and Curtis uh, plays the uh, protagonist of um, a Phantasmagoria too. Ah. Be well. So there, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the connection. That's see. the connection. So yeah, he yeah. play he he does a uh, let's play Phantasmagoria <laughs> with uh, with her. That's great. Yeah, she did something else very recently, though, that I saw sort of uh, one of the um, classic gamer guild folks uh, had posted on some social media recently. So, um, 
but yeah yeah curtis with the sort of um john carmack look going on mm-hmm. there. um yeah. but anyway uh let's actually play a little bit of phantasmagoria shall we yeah, yeah i let's, said let's skip to here but 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 really skip to here yeah this is where you want to be yeah this is where you want to be real quick before we get serious uh the lord of covid is probably apollyon the horseman of pestilence Mm. oh yeah yeah, you're right no you're my guess you're right i've been playing a lot of warhammer recently so like nurgle was the first thing that popped to mind but you're probably right actually i said beelzebub before i said nurgle so i guess that's technically what came to mind first but playing some dark tide play a little vermin tide Weirdly enough, like nearly every Warhammer video game seems to really be like focused on Nurgle being the one god of chaos that they want to keep throwing at you in all the video games. It's kind of sad because he's kind of one of the boring ones. <laughs> no. his, no. his name makes him sound like a bit of a dweeb. Yeah. Nurgle. All right. Well, you know, I'm he's Nurgle. all about like, yeah, he, he's all about this like pestilence and like disease and and stinkiness so he sounds like a, a little companion creature from an 80s cartoon i'm mm. nurgle guess... lord of stinkiness yeah <laughs> i mean you know it's probably to be fair you know nobody knows how to pronounce zinch and uh, <clears throat> there's and then like the god of like <laughs> war and anger and shit like that is called corn so like Ooh. it's hard to keep hard to take that one serious corn mm-hmm. with corn a k or the nerve. c or what are we talking uh, about k h o r n e but you know somebody who just wanted to say like c o r n corn oh. yeah. no that's not that good yeah yeah i'm out <laughs> uh, thanks for watching everybody happy horror month even right, we're let's... unsubscribing <laughs> <laughs> all right let's move adrian I'm around the channel yeah down. yeah let's let her take a step yeah. let her take a step yeah let's move her around i'm gonna good old adrian gonna interact with this uh i don't know if we've done this already so if last episode <laughs> we already did this i apologize for I don't remember this, but that oh, was 11 months ago. Honey, that's not where you look in the telescope. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, there you go. You got it. No, nope. yeah. you can't see anything. Anything at all? Like it's, It look, doesn't look like it's blocked. You have to be seeing something. Throw circle, telescope like into ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I could not hear any of that. One second here. Mm-hmm. She said... I can't I see, anything, see anything, but I don't know. Oh, if... I'm sure you guys heard it. But I did not <laughs> oh, you didn't it. hear it. Ooh, yeah. it's true horror month. Ooh. That's a very nice telescope to be storing outside unattended. On yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks like it is a, uh, it looks like it's looked after. I'm going to do the same thing if I click again. <gasps> looks like it. Oh, it's a mist telescope. That's why. I was going to say the section of the game reminds me a lot of mist. Yeah. Yeah, it's the uh, early, like, Bryce 3D uh, <laughs> environments. Oh, Bryce. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Or 3DS Max, I guess. They work hand in hand. That actually takes me back to last year when we were playing this and trying to think of the name of that fucking piece of software. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, I, I marveled at the that word back then, too. All right, let's go. Frig this. Frig right, this well, telescope. I... Frig it. Frig oh, it. wait. Where are we going? Going back. Oh, oh right. Yeah, our, yeah, our, trowel. our idiot friend helped us move that tree, right? <laughs> helped us. He did it all yeah, himself. I, saw, I rewatched that part. He pushed it over. Oh, no my problem. God. You do know what's happening. <laughs> oh, Julia will be our expert. Okay, good. Oh, no, no, I only started watching like, but near the tail end of it. But apparently, that's when you guys started playing it. So maybe I didn't miss anything at all. I mean, do we ever really even play this? Like, really? I don't know. A little bit. I think we've made more progress in Phantasmagoria than we did it through most of like, you know, Quest for Glory. Yeah, that's true. But we're kind of on our way back to the house here. And we already went into that broken greenhouse. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, that's where we uh, that's I, where we picked up the trowel and we watched a murder. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't remember anything. My mind is gone. I got COVID brain. 
<laughs> Good old COVID brain. Good old COVID brain. I think I remember a lot of individual things that happened, but I can't really piece them together into anything coherent. Yeah. But we'll be just sort of reinvestigating things, like this weird harp statue. Can you drink that water? Guess not. I don't think the game will let me. Yeah, what's and your guy's goal? Funky elf statue. Right now. Goal. Our yeah. goal. Oh man. We're just sort so, of trying to survive in this weird new house that we've got with our increasingly abusive husband. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think our yeah, I think our goal is Adrian's goal. Just you know, wander around and try to figure out your life. What did she yeah. do? <laughs> what does she do for a living? Cool. She's a writer. A writer. Is she a writer? She's a writer. There's a garlic every look. horror every horror print protagonist is a writer. I yeah. Mean. No, you're right. Yeah. And uh Dawn, our husband, is a photographer. No, oh, I know Dawn. Right. Yeah. Oh, I know Dawn. He's a photographer, but he is also uh, a home reno kind of guy, apparently, because he's been fixing up the shitter since uh, the beginning <laughs> of the game. That's pretty fitting because he's also a piece of shit. That's true. <laughs> uh, my, Get it? The apartment I moved into for whatever reason, has more toilets than bedrooms. Two bedrooms, nice. three bathrooms. Like, <laughs> so your guests can shit while, I, while all the beds are occupied. Yeah, it's one for me, one for my partner, and one for just for company, I guess. <laughs> yeah. um, one but for I guess, the servant. Servant quarters, bathroom. I, I can do what uh, What's His Pickle here is doing and turn one of them into a dark room. I don't need oh, a do dark it. room, but there you go. You know, do it. Well, there's a couple that have no windows, so. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Ooh, yeah. Windowless bathrooms. Perfect. That's a dark room waiting to happen. I'm trying to find the front door and I seem to have lost it a little bit. It's a little hard to like navigate around here sometimes. Yeah. yeah. This is the back, so I gotta get to the opposite wall. Oh my here. god. <clears throat> I think you this have to go crazy. out back through the kitchen. Isn't the front door through the kitchen? No. Because th this just leads to that big mirror, right? Like yeah. where we see the ghost of Drew Barrymore. Yeah. Um, but the, the the front door isn't through the kitchen. No, no. What this, is that door outside main, then? Like, this is the back door. This leads to the back. Oh yeah. Um, no, no. The back garden. No, no, no. I like how you, you pronounced Drew Barrymore like it was one word, like Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Yeah, the the ghost of Drew Barrymore. I think I, I well, okay, because there was a door leading out from the kitchen, and I don't know where that is. I don't I know where this that is goes. the front door. I think this is the front door. Uh, this camera switching thing, yeah, this is one of the reasons I'm not a fan of FMV by a long shot. Well, I mean, you know, they did this kind of camera switching even with like old point and clicks as well. It's just this one is particularly bad. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, that's the front door, right? Yeah, because there's your freaking car. Yep. Do you want to go uh, har harass but... the historian lady again? I don't. I forget her name. Buzzy Beetle, Bob Bob, Buzzy Beetle, <laughs> something, Bob something Bob. like that. <laughs> Bob Drew Barrymore, Koopa, Koopa Drew Koopa, Drew Barrymore, Drew Barrymore, Bowser. <laughs> Oh, uh, hi, Adrian. Remember me? Can you repel? You're right, the homeless family. Who lives in our barn? What you got there, Cyrus? Oh, I'm skinning a squirrel for supper. Oh. I like to hunt. I'm good at catching little animals. I bet you are, Cyrus. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, uh, yep. hmm? if I was Adrian, I mm -hmm. would gather all the valuables I could, put them in the trunk of my car, and nope. just light everything else on fire and make a new life. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's probably really the, the right thing that's the right thing to do at this point right like i think yeah i don't i don't see an, an an alternate way out i don't see a way that leads to 
anything but pain and suffering. Uh, if this were a, I mean, that's kind of. If this were a modern horror movie, Adrian would uh, like Skype with a friend, probably yes. like probably a female friend, who yeah. would be like, "No, screw that! I'm coming out there, and we're gonna pack up your shit." Um, and uh, the movie would transpire during the time when her friend was en route, and her friend would arrive too late. <laughs> Oh, yeah, with the police. Because she couldn't get a hold of her. Adrian will either be dead or will have had to have killed someone. And for the record, guys, we don't know because we actually don't know what happens in this game. Oh. That's true. I think I've seen less plays of this, so I have an idea of what happens, I think, but I don't know. No. I hope we get to kill our shitty husband. God, (laughs) me too. Oh. Oh, no. It's hot. Is it supposed to be real heads or dolls heads? I couldn't tell. I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's she couldn't either, obviously. Let's check it out. Ooh. Yummy. <laughs> I still don't know. Lick it. I think those are remains. Okay, they're supposed to be remains. Okay. Lick they look it. like um those boglins. They look like a boglin. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they do. They do. Just fasten teeny see tiny baby arms to the sides of the head. Oh yeah. Shove it's his boglin collection. Different... Can you use the hammer on it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just really don't want to deal with I don't want to deal with this. I'm just going to destroy it. Anything can become soil given enough time. Just, just, I'm not, I'm just not letting me. No. Oh, wow. Well. Have a poker. <laughs> no. Poke, poke, poke. What's that thing? Oh, yeah, what's sure. that this thing that. This is tarnished that, yeah. brass lens piece. Oh. It's a tarnished brass lens it's piece. It's the tarnished brass <laughs> lens piece. There's something really <laughs> funny say. about just bashing a mummy into mulch. <laughs> An old. Hammer. It's an How old have we not hammer. been asking this guy to describe everything? To I don't know. Today? We What's definitely need key? to. A large skeleton key. It's a large skeleton key. <laughs> is this Josh? Is this King Graham? Is that Josh Mandel? A fireplace poker. A fireplace poker. Oh, you know no, what? I... The voice is a little too gravelly for it. The stairwell key. The stairwell key. Yeah, he, he might be putting it on. That's actually Adrian's inner voice. <laughs> so Adrian hears herself. Uh, 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 I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look who it is. You know, because when Adrian uh, walks into a room, for the, um... when when she walks into a room and thinks, "Why did I come in here?" That voice is like, "You were getting a drink of water." <laughs> Uh, I just realized that I had this lens piece. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's going to make you be able to see through it better? Okay. Theoretically. Okay. Let's find out. Oh, my. Do you know, turns out, I don't know the name of the skeleton in the menu. <laughs> I don't know the name of the skull. It's that other window there by the tower room. What oh, did you say about the tower room? there's a window over there in the tower room, or something. Oh, okay. Uh, no, it was uh, Greg Bellamajan. Hmm. Bellamajan. Good for him. Bellamajan. It was his one credit. Hmm. Man. He uh, he's got a good voice for it. He does. Deserved more credits. An old key. I wonder what he does. Mm-hmm. Just someone that worked at Sierra. Oh, well, okay. Like a lot of the voice acting in. I'm Sierra. on it. I'm on it. I'll find out. Do 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 do. To be fair, most of the voices here are the actors that you see. So okay, I got. Well, I think this was Victoria Marcel's first gig. Um. All right. No, oh, this is new. I wonder who that could be. Oh, no, I'm missing things. Someone has arrived. Mm-hmm. 
It's that friend we were talking about that have come to save us. She's finally here. <laughs> it's a particularly really good friend. If she arrived before anything actually happens. Our friend Belina. Baluna. Belina. Baluna. Belina Baluna. That's her full name. Balona. Belina Baluna Balona. Balona. <laughs> but nobody, you know, nobody calls her that. It's a particularly good friend that arrives preemptively when you're in a horror movie situation. Just a sixth sense activates, and they're like, "Nope, we gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go rescue Matt." <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, Matt shows up. You're like, "What are you doing here, Matt?" And Matt's like, "You just wait. I'm here for you." <laughs> it's Mike the Handyman. I can understand that. Somebody order a pizza with extra sausage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is quite a place, isn't it? I better get back to work. Okay. <laughs> Don't answer the question. Just, I better get back to work. What is he? Fi- he's fixing the phone. Okay. Yeah, right. he's fixing the phone lights. Yeah, he's a telephone repairman. Uh, I found a couple, Greg. Okay here? So far, so good. Good. <sighs> I've almost finished driving this screw into the table leg. all right i got some so we identified an extra window in a tower so let's go check Uh, i found a boomer greg belmigian 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 that's how you say from fresno california it's gotta be him right it's It's gotta be him him, right who is that woman um the woman who is she that's harriet I don't want her around our house, so you had better get rid of her. Get rid of you, you. Go back to my man cave. I'm going back in here. What a chode. What a chode. Yes, the the classic sexist gender roles where um, the the man asks his wife to evict strangers (laughs) and intruders. First of all, that's the phone repair guy. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, uh, yeah. Victoria Morsell has been... She was in Friday, Saturday the 14th, Striked Back. Strikes Back oh. in 1988. Oh. Saturday the 14th, Strikes Back. Yeah. Um... I don't know what to tell you, but I can tell you Ray Walston was in it. We can hammer this, maybe? This it seems like a... This sheep? Choice. This, this See if we can just sheep. break through the fucking sheep. Break on through wall. to the other side. Oh, I didn't know it was supposed to be. It's brown. I figured it was just like a weird particle board thing. It could be. It could be. Wait, she was also in a movie called Wizards of the Lost Kingdom 2. <laughs> Oh. This is the Lost Kingdom too. Wow. Oh my god, this looks amazing. David Carradine plays the bad guy whose name is Dark One. Mm. Oh, this is fantastic. Mm. Alright, I'm in. Keep you keep banging away on that wall. I'm gonna tell you more about this. Uh Victoria played uh maiden number one. So maiden she, number one. she didn't have a big part, but she's first maiden. That's like in an orchestra. That's like a big deal. Yeah, she's first maiden. Um, there's a lot of there's a there, there appears to be a good amount of um, cleavage in this movie. <laughs> now, can we skip this or do we have to watch all of it? Is she going to? I mean, look, they made Victoria kick through a fucking wall to capture all of this. I'm going to watch the whole thing <laughs> just so that her fucking sacrifice wasn't in vain. <laughs> I mean, good on her for doing this entire goddamn sequence. She was in a an, an erotic thriller in 1990. What was it called? I have to know. It was called Deceptions. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed in the name. The other two names were so good. Yeah, I know. She was. She doesn't even. Yeah, it's got it's got Harry Hamlin and Nicolette Sheridan in it. So you know, it's a, at least it's got a budget. So. Hmm. 
Oh, 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 sweet. Where are we? We're in the room of portraits of Michael Where Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're all Michael Jackson. And this is him today. It's Delta Burke. <laughs> Delta Burke. <laughs> Space Quest Connection. Triggered. <laughs> He's awfully backlit for the one uh, light being in front of her. She had nothing to say about that? Her inner monologue isn't really shared with to us. us very yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> so, whatever, once in a while, she'll say something out loud, but we're controlling her. But. You know, she only gives us so much information. Yeah, mm. we don't know what she thinks of these portraits, but I can imagine it's what we think of these portraits. So it's like, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, yeah, that's just not... <clears throat> oh. Adrian, watch out. Mirrors can't be trusted. Yeah, you could talk that in more. Yeah. So we need. Oh, right. We're in 1994. I better tuck myself in. <laughs> oh. I need my pants up to my rib cage. <laughs> I, I um, did read um, like a Phantasmagoria article it's about some behind the scenes detail at one point in my life. And this was not the, supposed to be the original costume that she'd wear in this game. Um, this was just something she wore to sh the first day of shooting or something, and, and they liked it more than what they had planned. So they had this, and they only had this one set of clothing for the entire shoot. And by the end, it was falling apart and being held together with tape. This was something that I said last year. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's, no, it's, it's okay. It's yeah, you're you're not repeating something we've heard recently. Not yeah, recently. it's been a year for. I the mean, people who only watch this though, they've just seen me. The that. people who only watch this are screaming at us right now because this, <laughs> <laughs> because we can't remember what we did a year ago. No, no, no. also we're making progress here. A year ago, uh, we were just kind of doing like a pretty straightforward playthrough, and then halfway through the playlist, it just goes unhinged, and we're talking <laughs> about crawl and being sick and moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I we should do like a little uh bingo card a little phantasmagoria bingo every time uh Julia references oh, something no. about phantasmagoria that we have already <laughs> said we've already said that's the only thing I know about it it's okay it's okay it's fine it, it I found it good and also like yeah like part of that the the rest of that story was is by the end of the shoot her clothes were being held together by like <laughs> duct tape and string and stuff. They had to like sew stuff together and yeah. Cause she she does some crazy shit in this. I mean, not yet, but you know, soon I would imagine. No injury and it's a mimic too. <laughs> Attic lurking. Hmm. Oh, hey, it wasn't oh. actually locked. Oh, oh, that creek. Ooh. Ooh, treasure. Get that first. Yep. No, it's a giggling locket. It's a giggling. It's a, <laughs> it's a giggle locket. <laughs> I remember those in the nineties. Who doesn't? Who, do, who didn't own a giggle locket? <laughs> I do like that she just puts it back too. Like, nope. Yeah, she totally nope, did. Nope to that. <laughs> it's a diary. Dairy? Dairy. It's dairy. Oh, yeah, just read it to yourself. Go on. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah, this would be one of those points in so, time where it, it would be real dialogue. useful. Be real useful to yeah. let us know what's happening. All right. Okay. September Any? 14th. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. 1889. Dear Diary. I grow increasingly fearful of Zoltan. I feel the burn of his eyes upon me as he watches my every move. Did my little girl have such fears? Did she suffer when he snuffed out her baby life? <laughs> How could people believe him when he said it was an accident? It was no accident. But, dear diary, Zoltan wasn't always like this. 
I remember not so long ago when he was loving and gay. I was overjoyed when Sophia was born. I know, I remember. But after his trip to Paris last year, he changed. Something happened to him. I don't know what. Now, all I have left are my plants. I spend most of my time in my greenhouse. Yeah, all of it. Away as I can get from <laughs> With my boglins. <laughs> yeah, all of it now. She spent the rest of her life in mm. her greenhouse. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah. Do you think? Do you think the word "baby life" was all one word <laughs> with a TM? <laughs> Bev life. <laughs> Took away the, her baby life. So Zoltan is not just a ghost magician. He's a ghost magician baby murderer. Yes. Mm-hmm. Something. Right. He went to Paris and he came back all fucked up. Yeah, he was he gay before, before he went to Car- Paris. And he was gay before he went to Paris, which is funny because that's supposed to be the gayest place on earth. And then he <laughs> went to Paris. gay Paris and yeah. became less gay once uh, he got there. Exactly. Yeah, it straightened him right he out. Left it, he left it there. <laughs> Suck, yes, it sucked the gay right that's out how- of him. <laughs> and all that was left was back. murder. <laughs> all the gaiety left behind in Paris. That was the, that's the thing they don't tell you about Gay Paris is uh, you know it stays. Yeah, it leave. stays. You leave your gay in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, he came back. He was a murderous asshole. Uh, and then, and then he, he died because, you know, and then he did a whole Henry the eighth thing for a while. Yeah. He, he, he killed a bunch of people, killed a bunch of wives, killed a baby, but more than one baby, I would assume. Yeah. And I, mean, uh, I think that might, might've been the first wife and baby. Now he's living in your piece of shit husband. Well, killing babies is like, you know, opening a bag of two by brownies, you know, <laughs> you're not just, you're not just going to have one. You you're not just going to do one. Once you realize how easy it is, you know, <laughs> you, need, you need more of that baby life. All one word. The baby life. The baby life. <laughs> uh, she did say that he came back from Paris different. And I just like to imagine in my, my head that, you know, like that cliche of, you know, people going abroad and coming back and saying how all the bread here just doesn't taste as good. And that, that's how she, what she means. <laughs> that's all she means. No, but he did. He did kill their daughter. That's a red yeah, flag. He was he was complaining <laughs> about the local bread to a murderous extent. <laughs> so you know, uh, but yeah, now I suspect he's living inside of your piece of shit husband. And uh, th- there we go. Or the or. French ghost that possessed Zoltan is also possessing our husband. Good point. Good mm-hmm. point. Mm-hmm. So- solid point. I didn't think of that. That would be a, a stupid fucking non sequitur if it was just like a ghost in like a stripy shirt with a beret. And it's <laughs> just, holding up oh, again. Oh, <laughs> it's an evil mime. I'm an evil ghost. Ah. Oh. The angry ghost of Marcel Marceau. I need baby life to keep me alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough for this episode. <laughs> Yeah, my okay, uh, bye, everyone. <laughs> my uh, my horrible COVID night cough has returned, so I've been dying for a drink for about twenty minutes. <laughs> That's most of the episode. <laughs> Just basically, as soon as we started, it got bad. <laughs> All right, we'll take a little break. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see you next episode. We'll be very soon. We'll see you after these these messages. Yeah, from after our these sponsors. messages, St- stick and stick and stay, everybody. Don't we'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. Don't don't get yeah. COVID and never talk to Bella Lyon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're gonna get COVID, do what I did and just don't talk to Bella Lyon. If you're gonna get COVID, don't like try to move your life a week after that. That's not a recommended therapy for COVID. I stick mean, that's you. that's kind of included in the directive: mm-hmm. stick and stay. Yeah, that's yes. true. You you yeah. didn't stick or stay. No, I fucked it all up, every bit of it. <laughs> And your life's a shambles now as a result. I was telling the guys earlier, after my interactions with Bella Lyon, if my life were a video game, I would start over. Yep. It was it was that horrible. Like I would just don't doesn't matter how far back the save is, it's like I do not accept this timeline. I'm going back. <laughs> anyway, stick it to everybody. Bye. Hey. You could have got back to the moment when I said Bella Lyon and you would have said, Fuck you. <laughs> 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 That's where you would have started. That would have been your game restore. <laughs> to be clear, Matt, 
did not have a horrible experience, and his advice was based on good personal experience. So uh, no, yeah, it's true. Not, I don't. I don't blame Matt. I only blame Belle. I, Bell I Alliant too. sounds like a demon's name. That actually sounds cool on like corn. <laughs> <laughs> Everything sounds cooler than corn. Are we in the new episode or is this the old we one? Keep, no, well, Alex needs a drink. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, Alex needs a me, drink. Go, me going to get a drink could be part of the episode. That's very much the type of channel we are. Yeah, all right. That's true. I'll be right back. Bye, everyone. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah. Onions, right? Onions? Well, I don't, yeah, I Two think onions. he should put some onions on his feet. If I were him. Oh, man. <laughs>